Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I just wanted to make this video. I got this 1990 um, Ford Ranger. And I just really got it yesterday with no keys. I got the title, I got everything though, but I got it with no keys. So I call a local locksmith to see how much he would charge um, to make the keys for this one. You know, it's a 1990, the key is not chipped, nothing like that. Well, this guy wanted 250 bucks. Why? I don't know. Anyways, so what I did, what I did, no, I don't steal cars. I don't do nothing like that, okay? You know, but what I did, I came in here and I removed this little chrome piece that goes right here on the on the side of the ignition switch. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Anyways, I'll remove the, the steering column cover. It's only two screws, two Phillips. They go like right about here on the bottom, one here, one here on the other side. I remove that and this guy right here. Oops, I just dropped it again. This guy right here. What I did, I used these channel locks. These guys right here. And I just, you know, grabbed it and, you know, twisted down and that piece right there came off. So what I did, these are the drill bits that I use. These ones here. The silver ones, I'm gonna go ahead and give you more better view of it. These ones here, okay? So what I did, I started with the most, not the most thin one, but I started with this one right here, which is the 316. And what I did, I, first I actually lubricated right here. I put some of this stuff right here, the blaster. I put some of this in here. Just like that. And then I started with the drill bit halfway then it got stuck so I pulled it out put it in reverse the drill bit I mean the drill in reverse pull it out you know because if you start twisting it and that kind of stuff chances are that you can probably break that drill bit in there now you can have double trouble you don't want that so what I did I put it in reverse and I went the opposite way as I was pulling it out I got some of that more uh, blaster and I put more in there then I went just a little bit more in and then from there from the 316s I went to to the 1364 drill bit and then I did the same process again and then very last I went to the 1564 and right in the center guys right in the center right here where I mean right where you put the key in that's where I went in with it. But with the 1564 drill bit, that was the biggest one that I went with, which is the one right here on my drill. This one. As I was going in, I went in straight, and then I started doing this as I was, you know, going with the, with the drill. Drilling it. I started doing this back and forth just a little bit. So that way the tip of it could actually catch where the little t's are you know inside of the cylinder and sure enough it came out this is what came out right here these little guys right here as you can see you see it has two holes let me try to aim it right there there's one right there the one on the other side these guys they were in there so they came out by itself I grabbed it with some vice grips, pulled it out. I've got the screwdriver, a flathead. Where is it at? Here it is. This one here. And of course, I've got my jumper. My jumper is plugged in right now. And here it is.
there it is. There it is, guys. So, just remember, remove that little plastic piece. So this right here is either chrome, some cars they have a black. Remove that with some channel locks. Get some WD-40 or some sort of lubricant. Put it in here. Go with a drill bit that it's going to be a little bit more bigger than the hole, but not too much. Okay, you want to get, you know, you want to start little by little. Okay, so go like halfway. Another thing too that is very important. I have another key right here from one of my other trucks, which is this one. So let me see if I can do this. Hold on. Wow, these power steering. So what I did, I did this. I got the drill bit, mm -hmm. and I got this key right. Then I put it. I lined it up like this, because you don't want to go too far in where you're gonna damage more of the inside of the ignition switch so I got the drill bit like this and then I put it right here with the key and pretty much to get an idea how much you know you want to go in because you don't want to go in all the way because if you go in all the way like this you're going to do more than what you're supposed to do so I marked it down right about here so I put like a little piece of tape on it and that way if I knew you know like if it went more like the tape went inside, I was gonna go ahead and damage the inside of the steering column and, and you don't wanna do that. So this is how you, you can tell, you know, like this. I hope this video is gonna, you know, it's gonna help you guys out. Um, feel free to subscribe and share this video. Okay, if you guys wanna know any other stuff about cars, if I have the answer, I'll be more than happy, you know, to help you guys out. If it's not, we can go ahead and look it up together and learn together, okay? So please feel free to, you know, hit the subscribe button and share this channel. Thank you guys. Have a good one.